Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 16 of the Lead Code Daily Challenge. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm, cave largest element in an array. Okay, you have to find the cave largest element in an sorted array. Um, okay. So this one's a little bit, um, hmm. I mean, I think if you have a computer science background, maybe not even if you don't, um, it's just a standard textbook problem. Uh, and what I mean by that is that this is literally something that has gone over in probably every algorithm textbook. So to be honest, I don't think I'm going to, uh, as a result, I don't think I'm going to like dig that deeply into this. Um, if you feel like I'm wrong about that, uh, let me know. Uh, but this is where um, but I'll go over a couple of uh, things that we can talk about. Um, so obviously the, the easiest thing you can do is just sort it and then return K. That's, you know, you could do that in like, and if this was a contest, I would probably have done that and I would already be done, get in about 20 seconds, maybe even run the test. I don't even know if I would. Or maybe I would just to, so that, because, uh, you know, to check that it is one index, for example, I might have missed that if I didn't run the test. Um, so that's n log n. Uh, another thing that you can do if you really want, you can, um, you know, put it in a heap in which case, or priority queue, in which case it'll, it'll be n log k. Um, and, and then, you know, so those are the two, like, quote, unquote, easy answers um, that you can do. Um, I wouldn't even go to n log k, to be honest, on the contest. But on an interview, obviously, you just go over the literature. I don't know if you would get a, a, a problem like this on an interview, at least to, to solve. But because it seems too, uh, too textbooky, as I was saying. But uh, but it's possible, I suppose. And um, oh yeah, and and uh, the canonical answer is a uh, quick partition uh, or quick selection. Sorry, which is uh, you know if you look, if you remember your uh, your quick sort analysis, it's kind of the same except for um, except for that instead of sorting the the half or the the part that isn't on K, you do the K instead. Um, again, that is a standard, you know, standard theory. Uh, there are a lot of videos on this. Uh, maybe I'm a little bit tired today, so I apologies. I don't think I'm gonna go over it that much um, because it, it's it's not usually the complexity is not uh, worthwhile. Um, or if it is, you use the library. So I don't really, you know, and these are things that we talk about. Um, yeah, and quick partition is actually pretty good. I would recommend uh, implementing it at least once. Uh, but today I'm, eh, maybe I'm, I don't know. Um, and for the complexity of that one, uh, in the worst case, it's going to be n square. Um, and there's really no way around it in the worst case. Uh, you could do some funky probabilistic thing with uh, randomizing the input uh, and, you know, picking a random period, if you want to call it that, um, so that, um, so that on average it should be it should you know perform better and it'll be hard to to hit the worst case same as the quick sort, um, but yeah, uh, I think I'm going to skip on that one because I think that one is um, kind of tricky, um, and I'm just going to heap because it has a guaranteed worst case. Uh, and it is strictly better than n log n, so it's not just like a sort and done. Um, so with heaps, you can also do it with n log n, uh, but the n log k one is just having uh, a, a min heap of size k, so that, you know, yeah. And in theory, you can also, you know, if you want to do the math in a cool way, uh, like if you worry about, uh, k being close to n, you could just get the k smallest element instead. So you could have an if statement if you want to do something funky like that. But I'm just going to do it with a heap. Uh, and I'm not even going to write the heap. I'm going to use a library. So in Python, we would just do that. So I think the 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 thing that I always get confused about is using uh, um, is whether we need a min heap or a max heap. And here, even though you want the largest element, you actually want to keep the the k minus one small and well the k k smallest element in the heap because um after that we don't care about the larger elements than that so that means that we want a min heap 
uh, and in Python, the heaps are already min heap. Uh, in other languages, they are actually uh, max heaps. Um, most of them, not all of them. So definitely check the library. Um, but yeah. Uh, okay. So for x and nums, uh, heap dot heap push. Oh no, heap q dot heap push. The syntax is very funky because it's not a it's not a type. It really should be though. Hmm. But that's another story. Um, yeah, x. Right, and then uh, I, I always write this as a while loop, but it really is a for loop um, because, oh, sorry, I always write this as a while loop, but it really is an if statement if you go through the uh, invariance, but sometimes it's just, um, yeah, it, it's just like more of a guarantee. Uh, and we have to make sure that it has uh at least one element, I guess, constraints. That's what I'm looking at. The constraints I always have at least one element. So I think I'm good there. Uh, cool. Uh, yeah, let's give it, I mean, uh, um, yeah, so definitely practice this in, in uh, all the different ways. Sorting, I think, um, I mean, all the, all the things that you would do for this problem, I already talked about complexity about this, uh, and in terms of space, it's linear because you don't want to uh, modify the input in any way. Um, yeah, I talked about all the uh, different complexities and stuff already, so I'm not going to do it again. Um, hmm. What was this there to say? Yeah, definitely practice all the different various ways. Uh, if you're on, you know, uh, for this problem, it may not be necessary, but all the things that you need to do uh, for both heaps, sorting, and um, quick select, uh, and what was the other one? Oh, quick select. Um, these are all things that uh, the components themselves will come up in other interviews. So, so definitely practice it. These are just very fundamental skills. Um, that's all I have for this problem. Um, hmm. I guess today I'm not really feeling up to the quick select. Maybe I'll do another one later with it. But this is so like textbook that I feel like if you just Google it, um, like there are a lot of good videos on it. That's why I don't want to, you know, like this is very fundamental. There are probably good illustration and stuff like that, right? Um, let me know what you think. I know that today is a little bit weird, uh, the video, but, you know, Hope y'all doing well. I will see you tomorrow and goodbye.